Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Nordi and today we are looking into the sad news that happened yesterday. The palace let us all know that King Charles has been diagnosed with a form of cancer. This was this was found when he was being treated for his non-cancerous prostate condition. They obviously have run some tests and found something they don't like and he is out of duty. He's not doing any kind of public facing duties while he's receiving treatment. So it's greatly upsetting for some of you. I completely get it. I was upset yesterday as well. It's also very interesting that the tower came out when I did the reading on Sarah and the reading on William. And it makes me think that they knew a little bit earlier than, than say, over this weekend. I think I think there's definitely some more to this than we know. So today we are going to be looking into King Charles, how he's getting on and see what the cards have to say. I'm also acutely aware that there is some bad energy being sent to the royal family. Um, and I'm going to be speaking about more about that as the day progresses. I'm acutely aware of some areas of the internet celebrating, you know, the sugars being the sugars, sure as day turns into night, they've got a reason to hate the monarchy, but still want the Sussexes to have their titles and all that stuff. So there's that, and there's an accumulation of energy directed towards King Charles as well. I do believe he has let the public know for two reasons. One, he's doing things slightly differently to how, how things have been done previously. Another thing is I think he's taking the heat off Catherine a little bit. Um, I think he is trying to protect the Wales family as much as he can. That's just my insight. That's just my inkling. I haven't read on that. That's just a what they call it, like a download, an intuition, whatever you want to call it, that is what I feel. Um, so we're going to be looking into King Charles. I'm not reading on his health, but we're going to look into his energy and see what is going on there. And I know all of you will join me in wishing him all the best and good health. And we hope this is just a little blip and everything gets sorted out for him. Of course, we know um, that that Harry is zooming across here as we speak. In fact, within minutes of the announcement, Harry had, or Harry's team had briefed the press that he was coming across. So there's that as well. Like I say, there is some energy directed towards the King. There is their energy directed towards William, Catherine, Camilla, the lot. Some of the vitriol that Camilla has faced over the years is astounding. Some of the vitriol that Catherine faces just for <laughs> just for being Catherine gets me every time. I just don't understand it. And all of this stuff just started happening in about 2018. That's all I'm saying. So if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. If you want one of my regulars, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please share my videos about. It helps my channel grow. And I appreciate the community we've got here so much. And you're all just so lovely and so intuition and so your insights as well as part of the community. I appreciate you so much because some of you say things like, oh, yeah, and you will remind me of readings and you will remind me of different scenarios. So it is, it's a community and I appreciate that, guys. So let's have a look. I'm using the Tarot of Oppositions. Let's have a look about King Charles. Let's see what is going on. You know, sad. There's that phone call, that tapes recording that's lurking around somewhere. Some courtier's got it. I'm sure that Megsy said we're only a plane crash away from the crown. 
it's getting a bit Game of Thrones, to be honest, literally. Let's have a look. If you hear any dogs barking in the background, that's um, my neighbour's dog, Max. <laughs> Bless him. They go to work every morning and he's always the same. Let's have a look at King Charles's energy. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Straight away, we're going to Harry. Straight away, he's aware of Harry is coming over. And with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, there's something he's very unhappy about the way something has been handled around Harry straight away. Now, Harry is a Virgo and the Pentacles cards relate to the king the king relate to star signs so pentacles relate to earth harry is an earth sign a virgo so it, it is his second born that he is concerned about and what's crossing over the king of pentacles in reverse again he's really really disquieted displeased about how things are being handled and how things are going forward he's very wary there's an energy here with money as well the king of pentacles of course relates also to abundance and money and having all the finer things in life but when it's in reverse it's like a strangulation a lack The Eight of Cups. I don't think he really wants Harry here, to be honest with you. And the Lovers. The Lovers is a card of healing. It's a card of taking your time to recuperate, reabsorb time it's, it's kind of like a very kind of gentle time out but when we're talking we're, we're not directly asking questions about health but the lovers underneath signifies that he really wants time to process and heal and go through the finer details of what's going to be happening but there's all this noise above and the eight of cups there he just wants it to walk away now i did a reading on a live the other night and day of cups was there of what he wants with harry i think he just what i i i don't think he can be bothered but there is some healing there the seven of swords in reverse <sighs> there is something more going on behind the scenes. I feel like we have the intelligence services and they are aware of the Seven of Swords in reverse. They are aware of something that Harry, some shenanigans that Harry has got up to. And this isn't just about the cash this isn't just about money and jamaica and and all of these business deals there's something shady that the king is aware of that harry wanted to keep secret from the king wheel of fortune something is coming up that is going to please his majesty there's going to be some timing that is going to ease him. There is a certain amount of timing coming on. There's this change. Well, this is the card. This is the near future. This is what's above the situation. This is what's underneath the situation. He wants time out to heal. Leaving the situation, I think, has been information that has been passed. 
and coming in what's next something fortuitous is going to land on the king's lap the page of pentacles in reverse now when i read on the harkles children they would come through as pages of pentacles because we go with the alleged eldest recollections may vary child's energy and archie is meant to be a taurus i don't believe he is a taurus i think he's born a few weeks earlier i think he's a gemini possibly i think the king is displeased that harry is coming over and there's definitely an energy here that why can't i see the children The Five of Cups in reverse. No, it's upright. The Five of Cups. There is some distance to be had. Don't think that the drawbridge is coming up, the red carpet is getting thrown out, the corgis are standing to attention and all of those things. I don't get that with these cards. There's issues around Archie and the king is acutely aware of the Harkle's children for some reason. There is still a lot of hurt and upset and the energy surrounding the king right now, he's, there, is, there is a long way to go. What he hopes for. The three of wands in reverse. King of Swords in reverse, okay. He wants them to stop being so divisive. He wants them to stop the attacks. He wants them to calm us down us. That is what he wants. This is in his hopes. So the fact that Harry has come running across is actually, it's quite upsetting for the king because this is bringing up other emotions as well. We have the Eight of Cups above, and that's how we felt when we did the reading on Harry on how he felt towards Harry. And we're talking about Harry now because it came out straight in the cards, the pentacles. We're talking about the kids because the kids are in the cards, allegedly. The recollections may vary how they got here or how many there are, but... And we have the King of Swords in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse he may have some issues with some politicians. He may have issues with some people who are trusted, like, advisors. It looks like, but it might, it might not be. It could well be corrupt politicians that he has some issues with going into the second part of the year or later this month. Sometimes these two cards run up really quickly. Sometimes it can be months. Sometimes it can be a year. Sometimes it's all done in a week. Let me have a look. I'm going to use the Spirit Tarot. I feel like there has been a spell. Let me talk about the spell. Look at the bottom. There's the Five of Pentacles. That's my Mexic card. Well, okay. It feels to me like there's been a spell set on the King and Catherine, and this has been ongoing for some time.
the root of the spell, the root of this energy <clears throat> comes from Harry and Meghan not getting what they want. They wanted to be royal and have all the accolades, yet none of the work. They wanted to earn big bucks, but still get invited and all the kudos and all that kind of stuff. And it don't work like that. Let's look at this spell. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's directed, directed at Catherine. But at the center of this spell, at the center of this energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And while that can be Catherine, there's also another player on this table that we can talk about. Let's talk about Doris. Let's talk about Doris. Queen of Pentacles, Doris is a Virgo. She would come through as the Queen of Pentacles. And with the Queen of Swords in reverse crossing over, there is priestesses and women involved in this spell and they're sending it to the King, to Catherine, to get at William. to destroy all the mechanisms around William, all of the things that keeps him secure. This is the energy they're sending. They're divisive. They want to create division. They want to create splits. And that's what we have seen over the last few days. We have seen people discussing Williams and Catherine's relationship. We have seen saying, oh, we know about King Charles's prostate. Why don't we know about Catherine's this, that and the other? Five of Wands, getting people to fight, getting people aggro, getting people to go at each other to create disharmony, this ease. The moon in reverse, all of this will be revealed. All of this will be revealed, you've got to remember that William is the target. Will they want to get at William? They're destroying the people around him. I get the feeling that William has always had it in his mind that the kids would be older or late teens, early adults by the time he became king. And he cherishes his private life with the children and Catherine. The moon in reverse, disease, dysfunction, that is a spell. There's the king of wands. The Eight of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups upright. They want, they can't exist without the royal family. They've got the Harkles and they're like, have a parasitic relationship with the royals. They need relevance for the royal family. Now, there's a thing how you deal with narcissists. I think it's called prey rocking. And basically, you don't give the narcissist anything. You don't give the narcissist fuel. You basically could. And I feel like this is what 
the Har the Royals have done against the Harkles. They've just sipped them back into this kind of energy that they don't they don't matter anymore. They've lost clout, they've lost relevance. So of course Harry's straight on a plane to see his father. The three of pentacles, they want to cause division. They want they don't want the royal family to walk away from this psychodrama and all of this stuff. They want to be back in the game. They want to get the royals back in the game. That's why Harry turned up for the coronation after all. He want they want the headlines, they want the clout. The three of pentacles, it's disruption, disruption, it's separating people off, separating Eugenie and Beatrice and all of the royals off. They want to cause disruption. What do they say about William? What do they want? They want to destroy William, King of Cups in reverse. William's star sign is Cancer, and Cancer is a water sign. And in the tarot, he would come through as King of Cups because Cups relate to the water signs. Eight of Wands. There is a lot of friction. They're wanting to cause fighting and jostling and people going at each other and blah, 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 blah. they want all the twittery people that go blah, 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 at each other they want everyone on reddit or whatever forum it is to fight on each other fight in the comment section on newspapers fight on the comment section of websites they want all of that they thrive on the drama they watch everything well nearly everything but they watch a lot of stuff that's put turned out by them a lot of stuff the eight of wands in reverse they want to be back in the game that is a spell the king of wands here interesting it's in reverse now could their next target, could something happen with Piers Morgan and Harry in the next coming weeks, days? Because I think he's got a target on his head as well. I really do. The thing is, they've got these people once. They've got these people in the games once, twice, thrice. And it's how they stay. They they. It's how they stay relevant. The spell is to attack William by dismantling everything William holds dear and everything around him. Because if Harry can't have it, then William can't have it. And if Meghan can't have it, no one can have it. They want the crown or they want to destroy the crown and that is the crux of the matter they're going to get more frustrated they're probably going to come for more low-hanging fruit they might come for Piers morgan in the coming weeks months why i'm saying the king of wands and Piers morgan it just struck me there isn't somebody more fitting for the heart for the spell work and the harples to come after than Piers morgan and he would relate to a fire sign the king of wands is a fire sign and he i'm pretty sure Piers morgan is an aries he's possibly the most aries aries that ever aries so yeah so there is a curse. It's not there is a spell, whatever you want to say, there is bad juju. It's not directed towards necessarily the king. It is directed towards William. 
and they want William's world to fall apart. It's sheer jealousy, sheer hatred, and they want the royals back in the game and answering back. Now, I think all the stress will have contributed to Catherine and the king's health of everything that has went on. But this will not help either. Not at all. This has been a little bit more serious than I usually do. I usually quite chunk and cheek, usually a bit cheeky chappy. Not today. Mm -mm. Not today. I will be later, but not now. So if you've made it this far, please leave me a crown and some of those protection emojis, the hands, the hands, the eyes, please leave them about because it's, you will all know. I have been getting a few psychic attacks as well. Mm. Ah, but never mind. I sorted that out. But still, please keep them in the comments full of them as well. I'm going to do a few more readings for you. And, and then I will see you on a live later tonight. So take care of yourselves and pray for the king, pray for Catherine, pray for all of the working royals. Send them healing vibes, good energy, whatever you want to do. Um, or even ask Archangel Michael to deflect any negative energy sent towards the royal family, as in the UK royal family. I'm not asked what happens to the ones in Monty Ship Show, to be honest, at this point. To be real. There we go. Anyway, guys, I will see you all later. Have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your days and much love to you. Take care. Bye.